Hey guys, there are some new updates for Reason to Die Awakening, so I'm going to be showcasing some of them. The one that I'm most excited about in particular is the Flakfest armor, which reduces damage taken from explosives by 80%. Also, if you played Reason to Die 2014, they added the van from that version of the game, so that's pretty cool. Um, also, Campaign was added to the Blocks Harbor map, Ace, Dark Iron, Freedom, Glitch, and Golden. Golden is unobtainable. Skins were added to Peacemaker, along with Matrix, Redeemer, Rose, and Tactical. Oh, also Red Toy, Blue Toy. Um, there's a new animation for the Brett. There's new music for the menu. Uh, yeah, you can see here one clip, explosion minus 80%, add some health too, pretty good for free for all. New VIP commands were added. You can play music, stop music, and VIP servers. Free for all time option available to VIP servers. You can change the length of free for all. Um, there's new animations for Stare M and Barrett Fire is a lot slower apparently. I'm going to go ahead and buy a couple of skin crates here. We can check them out for the Peacemaker. Oh, also, if you get a headshot in Reason to Die now, it's easier to headshot survivors. And also, you can't uh, defib someone who got shot in the head. Alright, we got a rose skin. Let's try again. Let's see what we can get from this. I'm not too crazy about rose, it just looks like the Vengeance skin. We're just gonna do one more. All right, let's see what we get. Hey, Matrix. Okay, that's pretty cool, honestly. I'm glad I got the Matrix skin. I don't know if you realized, but the the one gun is blue and one gun is red, obviously, because in the Matrix, you either take the red pill or the blue pill. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. But anyway, all right, let's get into this. So this is also the new map that was added in the last update. So that's pretty cool. Oh, gosh, it fires really slow. What the hell? Oof. I'm just going to have to combo it every single time. Oh, man. Yeah, th this fire is super slow. I don't know. Every time you shoot, it takes like a second or two to fire another bullet. It's absurd. It still does the same amount of damage, but it's pretty annoying. Oh. Okay, he killed himself. Uh, you can see here, this is what the new van looks like. And they changed the windscreen, apparently. Okay, let's go ahead and buy the new animation for the Barret while we're at it. Hmm, that looks interesting. Oh man, I don't want to have to get rid of the reload speed, though. Oof, oh well, why not? It doesn't do much for you anyway, it's only 25%. Plus, with the new fire rate, it's kind of useless anyway. Alright, 3, 2, 1. Party deathmatch, here we go. We're going to be taking the flak vest on party deathmatch, get that extra health. Let's get these medkits right away. So, I'm pretty much okay over here. Because if someone throws a grenade, I'm not going to take much damage. I just have to, I just have to watch out for uh, being tripped, that's the only thing. I have to watch out for this guy. Yeah. <laughs> the animations for headshots are new. The head just completely disappears. Oof. Yeah, I took like no damage from that explosive and it was pretty close to me. Alright, just go ahead and wipe out this team. God, it takes forever to reload too. I mean, at least they didn't uh, nerf the, the fire rate. I mean, not fire rate. The, uh, the bullets per clip and the damage per bullet. Alright, we're gonna have to rush this guy. I'm pretty sure he has a Brett too, so you have to be careful, but since I, uh, if I can stay above 180 health, I won't die from a headshot. Yeah. Yeah, you can see the new podiums look pretty crappy, honestly. And then we also have this box for the new Brett animation. That's cool. Also, apparently, he... Uh, he moved to Toy Factory to green light and improved the NPC pathfinding to be more efficient. 
All right, let's go ahead and do one more round with the flak vest. We didn't really get to showcase it in free for all, so let's try to get hit by some grenades. See what we can do with that. I'm really liking this new Matrix skin though. It looks pretty cool. Plus, I um, the Matrix is literally my most favorite movie of all time. Oh wait, can you? Oh, you can change the music. Interesting. I don't know why he didn't remove the Merry Christmas thing, but he got rid of the Merry Christmas update. I don't know what's up with that. Also, what's cool is if you lose your stats, there's a rank up backup system. So if you lose data, they can restore from the last rank up on request. Alright, let's go for this med kit. We have to be careful of the people in the warehouse. I don't want to get insta killed. Yeah, I don't see anybody. I think we're all right. Let's just stay behind the bin just in case. Oh, there's some people on the boat. Yeah. All right, so let's see if we can get someone to throw a grenade at us because we want to see what that damage looks like with the new flak vest. We're just going to wait on this wall for a little bit. Oh. Hey, we took like no damage. That's pretty cool. Normally that would have taken off like half my health. Sorry, a grenade of our own. Get hit by it. Yeah, that only did like 10 damage. It's pretty good actually. Let's get this guy out of this corner. Ooh, got him. Alright. There's two people left, I believe. You gotta be careful for bread though, because headshots will insta kill. I really like this new animation for the bread though. Alright, let's get this guy. Oof, grenade. And let's get him. Oof, got the crate. Hey, there it is. Alright, well anyway, that's the new update for Reasons to Die Awakening. Let me know if you want to see anything else in the game, montages, etc. And I'll be happy to make them for you. Hope you guys enjoyed. See ya.